Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I've got something really awesome. The guys over at Perun sent me this ETU++. Uh, Perun is a small company based in Poland and they've got some really amazing airsoft uh, stuff. I'm quite excited about the ETU++. It replaces the stock ETU that's in your GNG. So yeah, I can't wait to install it. So let's check it out and let's install it right now. So we're gonna install the ETU. There are a few things we need. I only need this ETU and this long Phillips screwdriver. A long Phillips screwdriver. The old ETU that's in here, we need to replace it. And the connectors are in the buffer tube. So I need to get the buffer tube off and therefore I need this Phillips screwdriver. So let's take the stock off. So that's the stock. This is the old ETU MOSFET, how do you want to call it? And there are three wires. So if you open up the Perun ETU++, this is what you get. The ETU itself has got some stickers you can uh, stick on your gun case or something like that. You've got your stickers. That you can you can put some of these stickers in your in the back of your stock to put it right here. So it's quite handy, quite neat. Yeah, pretty awesome. What else you get is a plastic kind of play, playing card from Prune and on that card. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but these are all the modes that you can change with this ETU. So with the stock ETU from GNG. You can only uh, do something with burst mode and you need a 11.1 uh, lipo and with this ETU you can change your firing mode, uh, active braking, pre-cocking, binary trigger, rate of fire reduction, DMR mode, uh, lipo alarm and yeah your mass reset to uh, reset everything to the stock settings. So that's quite nice. So uh, let me open up the ETU. So this is the new Perun ETU. If you compare this to the old uh, ETU that's in there, this is yeah 10 times better. I mean, it's a lot smaller and it has Dean's connectors right out of the box. And yeah, Dean's connectors are, yeah, it's my opinion. I, I think they're uh, better than your standard Tamiya connectors. So yeah, that's a big plus for me. Quite impressed. So let's take these two off. And let's take both ETU out. So let's compare them. As you can see, this is the Perun. ETU and this is the GNG ETU. I mean, it's so much smaller. And it's quite a big plus because there isn't a lot of room in your uh, buffer tube. So yeah, it's quite nice. And like I said, the Dean's connectors. Yeah, that's a really big plus too. So let's install it. So it's quite easy, it's a plug and play um, installation of this ETU. Just connect the red wire to the red wire and the black wire to the black wire and yeah, it's as simple as that. It's really, really, really easy. Pull your wires through and 
like I said, this small connector right here goes into your uh, ETU right here. Yeah, well, that's it really. That's the installation right there. And like I said, two of, of three wires and that's it. It's on safe mode now and you can use it right away if you want to. Semi, full auto, that's it. I'm using a 7.4 volt LiPo battery by the way. So let's check the settings. As you can see, we're in a firing mode. ETU uh, has a green light and it beeps once. So that means, um, yeah, it's your uh, standard setting. Semi is semi, one shot, and that's it. So we're gonna leave that because I want to use that setting. I'm gonna turn the fire selector into auto. And we've got a blue light. Blue light means we're on active braking. Active braking is now on uh, level three. So pull it once and it's now on uh, level four. It's quite easy, this, this whole uh, ETU from Perun is just an awesome product, I really like it. It's really easy to use. And let's go back to uh, semi. And we're in uh, pre-cocking. Now, as you can see, the yellow, it's a yellow light and pre-cocking is off. You don't have any beeps, so you know, pre-cocking is off. Quite easy. Go back to uh, auto. And we're in uh, yeah, purple bluish. That means a binary trigger. Binary trigger is off. I don't really want to use a binary trigger, so. That's uh, good for me. And we have a white light. Um, that's a rate of fire reduction. Uh, that's off right now. Um, I don't really need to uh, adjust it right now. Let's go to um, DMR mode. Purple light, check the card. Purple is DMR mode. Yeah, it's not really a DMR and I'm not gonna use it as a DMR. So I'm not gonna use that setting right now. But let's turn it to semi again. And we've got a LiPo alarm. Uh, it beeps once. So as you can see, a LiPo alarm is on. And I really like a LiPo alarm on it. So um, we're gonna use that setting. We're going to auto again. And it's red. And if you can see red, it says master reset. If you pull the trigger twice, it will reset any, everything and it goes back to the factory settings as it's, it, it came out of the box. But we're not going to do that. So go into semi and as you can see the light is off and everything is saved. And this is um, the settings that we're going to use right now. I'm going to put the stock right on. So... As you can see, it's really, really, really easy to install this ETU from Perun. They did a really amazing job um, of manufacturing this uh, product. The installation, um, the programming, everything is easy. And I'm a big fan of this uh, ETU. I can't wait to uh, review other uh, stuff of Perun because it's just wonderful to work with. I've got some... Uh, other kinds of MOSFETs or brands and if you really uh, want to install a MOSFET or an ETU in your GNG or um, a V2 gearbox or something else, I really recommend uh, Perun because it's really easy to work with. So this concludes everything. I hope you liked it. Please visit the guys over at Perun. I will leave a link of the Perun website in the description box and um, don't forget to visit them. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and don't forget to push the notification button and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao!